This is a quick walkthrough of long division. So if we take 525 divided by 3, uh, you first ask how many times does 3 go into 5? The answer is 1. Moving on, uh, you do 1 times 3, put that underneath the 500s and subtract. So we've divided the 100s, now we subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. Okay, we're done dividing the hundreds, now let's move on to the tens. We need to take the two tens from 525 and put it next to our leftover hundreds. So now we have 22. 22 divided by 3. How many times is 3 going to 22? The answer is 7. The 7 goes above the tens place in 525. Now I multiply 7 times 3, which is 21, and I subtract. I find the remainder, which is 1. I'm done dividing the hundreds and the tens, and now I'm dividing the fives. I mean, I'm sorry, there is no fives. I'm dividing the ones, which is five ones right now. So I'll bring down the five ones, okay? And now I have a new question. How many times does three go into 15, or what is 15 divided by three? Three goes into 15 five times. Five times three is 15, and I put that down low to subtract. 15 minus 15 is zero, so there's no remainder. You can check your work by multiplying your quotient, or 175, times 3. It should equal your dividend, or 525.